Hello, uh, welcome to this video. So what are relationships? Relationships is your connection with, um, it could be a subject, it could be a person, it could be um, your relationship with food, it could be your relationship with, you know, addictions, it could be your relationship with hobby, sports, going to the gym, it could be anything. But my important thing is relationship with yourself and relationships with, uh, you know, your lover and the ones that you love and care about friends, family, co-workers, cousins, you know, you name it, animals, the children, whoever that is, it's understanding about emotional intelligence. And emotional intelligence is not, it's a little bit of psychology, but you're not using psychology to analyze or dissect or um, put somebody into a box as such. It's more about really listening to what that person needs. And it is hard. It doesn't matter how much of a therapist you are. If you've been researching psychology for many, many years, 20, 30, 40 years, there are things that we can often do which aren't correct. And, um, you know, it, it's a typical thing about, you know, a therapist and them not really um, understanding the work because they are still learning as well. We should never judge another person by their ability or their inability to perform or do something which isn't in their awareness to do so. So even me as a therapist, there are things that I know I'm still probably rusty about, even though I get lots of good comments from people saying that was a great experience, I really enjoyed it, um, you made me feel comfortable. Um, there are things that I want to learn more and do more, but what I offer as a therapist is basically usually um, my standard setup and it's about their own unique experience because each time a person's experience is completely different every time. It's unique every time, it's different every time and you cannot go into in the same setting and think about it. it's going to be the same experience again because perhaps it's not. So emotional intelligence comes by really actively listening to another person and being aware of how their eyes are, how their body is, their language, and getting them to listen to yourself as well. And, you know, relationships with anybody is important to, it's got to be balanced. You know, if uh, one person is always giving and giving and there's not any, much in return, I understand about love and that, okay, you shouldn't expect anything, you know, to be received. However, there needs to be a balance of reciprocation, reciprocation if that's the right word where things are balanced, where you are both giving to each other, helping support one another, making each other grow. And that's what relationships are about, is that not relationships are here forever. Friends, family, unfortunately, um, co-workers, um, our relationships with food, etc., all sorts of things. Nothing is concrete, nothing is permanent. And so there are, you know, our whole world, our reality is, is like a movie, you know, and we are actors on the stage and we are, there are different characters that come into our, our movie as such, and it depends how we want to shoot that movie. If we want to make it into a positive, beautiful one, a loving one, a sad one, it depends on our state of mind. And it's an ongoing series of movies, obviously. Everyone is an actor on, st on a stage. Everyone comes in to play their part and then they leave. Um, you know, they don't always leave, but there are people that come into our reality, our world, to teach us. Uh, and well, but both ways, you know, we, we teach them, they teach us, and it's not purposely for that meaning at all, but life is a, is a huge learning, um, you know, adventure really, that we learn so much more about the connections. And I love, you know, getting close to people where I'm understanding true to their core. And when you get to understand somebody, you get to love them who, for who they are and you try to nurture them very much as well. And the main important thing I've learned in relationships uh, of all, all kinds is, you know, I want to know about how that person is, what makes them trigger, what makes them click, what makes them angry, not to use it as uh, ammunition, but to use it in a way that, okay, this is how I need to look after that person, or this is how I need to support that person and what they need. I think communication is one of the most important keys in, in connections, in relationships, friendships, is that you know, when we communicate and we say how we felt and how things are hurting us or how we are triggered by some things or we felt that was sort of, you know, quite rude or we were affected by that or we felt like we weren't uh, valued or we were important, then if the other person is able to actively listen and go, 
okay, or even apologize and say, I'm sorry, how can I help you in this situation? How can I make this better for us, for you? What do you need in this moment, in this time? However, there are some people who just cannot get into that state of listening, actively listening and taking action. Now, they may, may listen, but they may be also with their own triggers in themselves. They may be reacting to what you are saying. Speaking to a friend the other day, they were saying that they found it really hard to be open to um, people and especially in their relationships where they were trying to be really, really open and it, in the process it really damaged their relationship. And that was because they were um, not, you know, they felt uncomfortable opening up and feeling that they were going to be judged by the other person. When in fact, the other person wanted to hear how that person was. So this is the understanding about communication that we need to be completely raw and naked emotionally and allow us to to be looked after and to be supported. And if we're not getting that, then it doesn't mean that you're in the wrong relationship or anything. It just, you know, that relationship or that connection needs to be worked upon. And if you are continuously doing something and you'll keep getting pushed down and you're not valuing yourself, your own energy, and you are getting hurt all the time, then it's important and healthy enough to take a step back and allow that situation to sort itself out. Um, and, you know, it's, we don't want to put people in boxes of like, okay, look, this is how you should be. This is how, you know, this, but there needs to be in relationships where two people are communicating with each other, where both understand and they're both actively listening. They're both, both their needs are being met. Again, family, friends, relationships, <laughs> I would say pets, but it's not always the case. Um, but it depends how good of a, you know, a dog or a cat you know, owner that you are and how good well you train them. And I guess the same comes with um, children as well, that you're not trying to put them in your, in your box of how they should be, but you're trying to give them the best and communicate with them to their best. So communication is very, very important. Communication is the glue to relationships. Um, assumptions is something that's very, very bad as well, that we assume too much, especially when we get angry, upset, uh, traumatized by a situation. And that then starts to trigger trust and trust issues that may already be there or has then created trust issues. And sometimes, a lot of the times, we can be completely wrong in what we are thinking. Again, it's this is a thing about like mental illness that people don't talk about, literally. Um, people who think too much in their minds of assumptions and things that they create, stories in their minds of, okay, this is going to happen. Why are they doing this? They must be like that. And really all we need to do is just cut out that that BS basically and cut out the middleman and really go to the direct source and, and communicate and talk to that person and say, hey, look, this is what's on my mind. You know, I, why are you doing this? Is it because of this? But not in attack mode, okay? You were doing this because of that. You know, that isn't an attack. It's kind of like, this is how it made me feel. Um, when you did this, this is how it made me feel. I feel like I'm not being acknowledged. I don't feel like, you know, you're giving time to me. Um, you're always late, for example. And um, if the other person is able to then take a step back and go, okay, I'm sorry. Yes, I need to work on that more with myself. You're right. Um, if if they're not being stubborn, then that's great. There's There's hope and there's chance that those two connections can then be more stronger with each other. But if one person is left in, in, in trauma, uh, has been pushed away, so this person here is sort of like perhaps running away from this person or ig ignoring and then completely just, you know, putting up a wall and they're trying to talk about their feelings and this person keeps putting up a wall, then it's hard to get past that person and, you know, that wall. And as you as a person here, uh, no matter how hard it is, you're trying to make get sense to this person, the situation may be triggering their their reality, their perception or how things are. And again, it all comes down to communication. As you hear, this person should be able to say, okay, look, this is what's going on. Why can't we fix this? And then sometimes people can be too stubborn and really try and put them all and push people away. And 
it's not healthy, it's really not healthy. Communication is very important, having no assumptions and really dealing with things maturely without having attacks, without assuming things are happening, but rather just actively listening and working on things. Now, we don't wanna be in relationships where we are always being the, the parent you know, or the therapist. Um, it's having a healthy balance that we are always nurturing, you know, and, you know, I, I expect that from people to understand how I, how I am and how I feel, um, you know, in, in a sense of a healthy way and how I expect things, you know, but again, expectations are bad. They're not good. You know, most important thing is to accept people for who they are. And if they don't understand, fine. But if there is a lot of conflict involved, and disagreements then it becomes it can become quite toxic and and not flowing and compatible so perhaps sometimes connections doesn't matter how much you love that person sometimes it just is not working out and sometimes it can so, sometimes there is hope and it just takes a little bit of time to have some space and to cut some ties for a short while um, let the anger or the frustration subside and then you're able to sort of communicate again and I've done this before in the past with people where like, look, you know, just need some time apart for a bit because, you know, at the moment it's just too much frustration, anger, you know, we're both not in a place where we can actively listening to each other and, and giving our best because at the moment we're both bruised and the more we are bringing up the, the past, we are staying in the past. So it becomes very difficult. So relationships is important to communicate with and having that person there to really understand and then never giving up. And, you know, when the other person is always making an effort, then you expect the other person to make an effort also. But if you are a person that is always trying to make an effort and the other person keeps walking away and you try to make an effort and then suddenly they're, they're gone, they're left, there's only so much you can do. And uh, another important thing as well is that in relationships and connections is that don't be too lost in your mind up here about what is going on because that person that you are trying to chase or get them to understand or you're trying to apologize and they're seeing a different perspective of or opinion of you know of you and so they're completely left the picture and you're on your own you're you know you're on your own um it can be very tormenting on the mind it can be very uneasy but you know for me i've had many different experiences like that where it has been difficult to communicate with another person um because they have a lot of trauma has come up, they've been triggered, majorly triggered, and um, yeah, you have to honour yourself in that process. You have to respect your own energy. Um, this is some something that I learned in in my in my progress in my in my growth is that many years ago, seven years ago or so, um, someone said to me that you know what are you doing? You know you keep chasing this person and they're not talking to you, they're ignoring you. It's like you're picking up these, this ember, you know, this hot glowing ember that's hurting you. It's like, why do you want to keep picking that up then? You know, like put it down, leave it, let it go because it's, it's, it's hurting you. Let it cool down, let those, that ember cool down and then you can come back to it when it's cooled down. And it's totally right, I learned that the hard way, um, but this is the way, you know, things happen. And this is where emotional intelligence comes into play through experience, through knowledge and through life experiences, which teach us things that books and other things can tell us. But it's when it shocks us through the core of our being, of our core, that we carry these, this information and these experiences, not just throughout the rest of our life, but also the other lives to come. We have that already knowing, that inability to, that inner ability, that intuition that knowing that we already have that know-how how to get on with that life and hopefully if you're listening to this hopefully you already have that but it can be difficult especially when emotions get in the way when we are triggered uh, by our own past life past current life uh, experiences and conditioning and traumatic experiences which have shaped us and created who we are today um, most important thing is just don't ever give up and always be true to yourself and always nurture yourself in your heart because no matter how much you're hurting inside, no matter how much things are sometimes difficult uh, in connections and getting the other person to understand how you feel, 
you're not always going to please others and you know get your own way of them understanding you sometimes you might be lucky and you might find you know those few people in your life who who get it who understand and you know are on on your side you know but there are always two sides to a story and the most important story and side that you need to understand is the ability that you have tried and you've given your best and just don't beat yourself up if you have been through a relationship uh, friendship and you've lost you know I've, you know lost a lot of people myself um, in this reality um, through different you know mistakes as well as those as well or um, those who just don't give your time and energy and who aren't there who aren't present who don't really you know help and it's sometimes difficult but the most important person and the relationship that you need to focus on is yourself and it's not in an egotistic way and it's not in a way of, of um, being self-absorbed it's just like okay I'm gonna give this time to me and work on me and this is who I am I love myself uh, thank you for the experience that I've had in this in this friendship and this connection um, or this relationship and okay I know what to improve next time and if that person comes back to you and shows their love then it's been worth every every step of the journey.